Hi, it's Steph, and today I am going on an adventure with my friend Maureen. Maureen is a, a gardener. She's a wonderful gardener, so good at containers, <laughs> amazing. What is your handle on Instagram, Maureen? At Parsons Peonies. Yeah, and I'll link that in the description of the video. But we are going to meet a third friend today, and we're gonna put together some amaryllis containers for the holidays. So let's go ahead and take a ride into the city and have a fun afternoon of gardeners hanging out and being creative. We've arrived at our friend Kate's home and she's let us do our mess here in her kitchen. So thank you so much for Kate for being a gracious yes, host. Um, Kate has an Instagram page. She has a beautiful garden as well. Kate, do you want to share with us what your Instagram handle is? Yes, yes. It's peonies and palomas. It is my favorite flower and my favorite cocktail. I'm going to also link Kate's Instagram below in the description of this video. But Kate has also made us a beautiful cocktail, which we just, um, I took footage of and I'm going to share that with you. A Cosmo, cranberry Cosmo and we're getting ready to make quite a mess on Kate's countertops. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set the camera and we're going to make some really pretty um, amaryllis arrangements and Maureen has set up her container here. Kate's going to use a glass vessel and we're getting all of our supplies ready. Isn't that so cute? Adorable. I got that from um, Bar Hill that Gin in Vermont, and their gin is distilled with honey. So I went there, and they were making these pre-mixed cocktails. What a pretty pink color. This is going to be tasty. I can tell, There's Kate. There's some edible pearl dust in there, too, so Ooh. they're kind of sparkly. You're spoiling us, Kate. Yeah. My well, favorite, if you guys came to my to house, do. this would not be happening. <laughs> I'm sure we would. <laughs> not this fancy. We're getting a treat today. Yes. And what are these called, Kate? Well, they're supposed to be white Christmas Cosmos, but um, they're just regular so Cosmopolitans. They look delicious. So, so it could be fun, like right. switching so out some more flowers. Yeah. I'll, put, I'll put some more in. There. I that's when I went to Trader Joe's. I was thinking the same thing, like. Well, these are some these really are large amaryllis yeah. bulbs. So, Longfield Garden was kind enough to send us a few of these for us to work on making these arrangements with, and these are some really healthy looking amaryllis bulbs. We're putting out all of our components. I have some branches that I cut from my Heritage River birch, and I picked up some of this sheet moss that we can use. Here is a bulb, a vessel. I think I'm gonna use this white pot. Kate has a glass container to make hers in with some of her items and I think she's going to put some cyclamen in there so that would look real pretty and Maureen has this really pretty holiday uh, galvanized tin with some bells and so we're going to see what we can do here are all the components that Maureen has brought and we're all going to share these and see what we can come up with okay. just the best and I just even in the summer just the leaves like, so do you overwinter yours I don't want to I or so over summer them. I don't know yes. what the proper term yeah. is. I think I think in this case it's over summer them. I think yeah. it's just to keep them in a maybe like in a paper bag somewhere cool and dark. I do about so I go dormant. So many. So I do about half outside um, on my deck. And occasionally they will bloom. Wait, and they will bloom in the summer. They have bloom. Yeah, some people do plant them out and they will bloom. And there's a process oh to it to get them to bloom in the summer and then have them go dormant again so that they'll bloom a second time this time oh, of year. Yeah. I, I believe that's what they do. My process was nothing. I just put them out there and they bloomed. Nice. Yeah. Maybe, we'll try, maybe we'll give it a shot, throw one in a plant or something. Yeah. It'll be well, a good experience. Nice. Like, yeah. I just have them on my deck. I don't put, put them in the ground. I just keep them in the same pot. Can you do you have a scissor or a knife yeah. that I can use to cut this open? We could do it as a little okay. ex series experiment, you know, where we all take our bulbs and... Mm -hmm. yeah. I only picked the soil up yesterday. I should have probably made the mess at home. Sorry, Kate. Oh, I really don't care. <laughs> I'll scoop the rest into my bucket. Yeah, it'll be easy enough to clean up. Don't worry about it. I need room for the bulb, so I think this might be okay. Yeah, I'm hard at judging the displacement. Like, 
much soil I need to put in there to cover the bowl, but then actually get the bowl in there. Um, this is a great size bowl. Look at this. It is beautiful. Sometimes people say to soak these. What do you think about that? No. I think they'll get watered, so they I've should be never fine at some point. Good. Yeah. So we don't have to soak them. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, it's funny. Um, these will grow with so little. I mean, you can do it. I've just grown them in water. water. With yeah. Water. yeah. I honestly I'm think fussy. sometimes we, I don't think we all, like we all overthink things. Sure. Yeah. So like, true. Right. You know who does a beautiful job and who's really good at growing amaryllis is uh, Danielle, the yes. Lawn Flower Farm. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I follow her on Instagram. I know I, I do watch her YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So sweet. Yeah. So these are lemon suckers too, Kate. Baby yeah, they're so sweet. Oh, they're so cute. They're so soft. They're so you girls sweet. are so creative. Listen, when it comes to containers, I lack a little bit of a creative a creative gene when it comes to containers. I love yeah, making I combinations of plants in my garden, but when it comes to making either a floral arrangement with my cut zinnias or dahlias, or when it comes to planting something like this, I um I kind of go basic. That's right. I go to you for the conifers. <laughs> yes, I love we conifers. We each use each other for our. Like yeah, a, because I'm not good at that stuff, like the outside, the big scale stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at it. Well, I always say I can't make a flower arrangement to save my life. I keep Me neither. trying. Yeah, I'm not great I'm, at I'm it. I'm getting better. Even so, that container that I did yesterday, I'm like, did you post them? I haven't, I haven't been on Yeah, I just, it just oh, did, like, kind of when you were on the way over here, I, I posted a video. Um, but I made them wintry instead of Christmasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looked pretty. Um, and Maureen with her green. That's cool. Look awesome. I know. I don't, I don't expect I these to bloom before. If you need any more. And okay. I need some moss. Yeah, you guys can use this one as well. I think this is what I'm going to do. That looks beautiful. That looks perfect. See, I think. I know. Some things are so I'm very minimal with house to home decor. I'm yeah. very minimal with. I'm definitely more of a maximist. Maximist. What do you call it? Maximalist. Maxim maximalist when it comes to gardening. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't even see the amaryllis bulb, but you will eventually. You will. Yeah. yeah, you will. Yours is more green than mine, so I'll throw a little green on top of here. <laughs> I think this stuff is real moss, so it gets dry. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But that's gorgeous. I, I think it's pretty. I'm going to throw a couple of these twigs in there. Oh, you know, I was going to yeah, do some of that curly willow Perfect. around. Oh, yes. Because I think what will happen is the twigs and the curly willow will serve sort of as a trellis. Yes. Especially in my house. I don't have a ton of natural light. So they tend to reach for light and get really strappy mm -hmm. and leggy. Yeah. yeah, and it works if you, you know, turn them. But, I mean, honestly, you don't have to do that. You know what? You know, some days you just... It, it does work with you. Yeah. And they were, they held up like they dry. Maureen has some lemon cypress going on, and she's adding some magnolia leaves, which are really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at those! I love the back side of them with the brown. Yeah, so pretty. It's nice. They're, um, have Different have texture. Yeah, really pretty. Kate's adding some vertical interest to hers with some will willow branches. That's gonna look really pretty. It's also gonna offer a little bit of support to that. Uh, amaryllis once it starts growing sometimes they need to be staked i think it depends like how much foliage and height they put on with less light they'll probably get a little more strappy and a little more foliar foliar growth and then i think once they get more light they start to they stay a bit more compact and bloom a bit better that's looking real pretty kate Can edit it. I like the vertical. Take it out. Do you? When in doubt, I mean, take you know, it out. Maybe use some of the smaller ones. See if the smaller ones might. Um, just, just, I don't know. They look very blunt. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think that looks, I like that. Maybe, yeah, maybe I mean, a little more dainty. Right, but at least just. Yeah, I think they were too bulky or yeah. something. I love curly willow. I want to get a curly willow tree just so I can have them. Yeah. <clears throat> this is so nice for me because my, my 
real life friends, nobody gardens. They have really? no interest in gardening. No, I mean, that's actually honestly, me too. I actually like, joined a garden club for that reason. Yeah. They're like, why do you do that? That's so much work. What are you thinking? And I'm like, I love it. It's hard to explain to somebody. Yeah, why yeah. It so I did. There's this beautiful flower shop right in Beacon Hill over here. It's called Ruvalis. But they were having it like a sidewalk sale in the fall. Uh, no, I, I don't know, in spring. And they had this little planter, and it was mm, that's real like pretty. 75 percent off. It's or like something. concrete so it was like looking pottery. Eighteen dollars. So I was like, oh, I'm totally that's good perfect. That. Yeah. I love that. And it sat here on the counter, and I put a um, paper towel in there, and it held like all of my fruit mm -hmm. and my citrus. And yeah, all of that. that's great bowl. So yeah. I was super excited when I got those other amaryllis. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna plant them up right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a what, what color are those, Kate? I was gonna ask that. The, too. I think these are pure white. I forget. Oh, beautiful. These are white, that's white. Perfect. Yeah, that'll be real pretty. So, but these are fresh flowers. And they're drying so nicely. Yeah, yeah, that looks like a baby's breath almost. I don't know what it is. I got it at Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna. I'm just making this up as I go. Same. Mm -hmm. Making some kind of trellis situation. Yeah, no, that's gonna be great. That's gonna hug those oh. in there so nicely. This is mostly because I have poor light in my home, like so it'll give them a chance of standing upright. Yeah. Over the years, too, with all the emeralds, I literally barely wanted them because they just don't need it. No, no, and they don't need a lot. They're very low maintenance. Like, I have not had um, those gnat, fungus gnats. Fungus gnats. Because yes. I just don't want them. Mm -hmm. That's These the biggest way to get I them. Put in a separate... That's a real beautiful oh, one. Oh, I love that planter, Kate. That's real pretty. Thank you. The low bowl style of it. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of weird. But they so won't need it. I've been watering them pretty sparingly. Yeah, but... Kate's arrangement came out beautiful. What do you have in there, Kate? Uh, so I just put some soil in here, and then I planted an amaryllis. And I've got little tiny cyclamen, cyclamen. plants put all around there. Uh, I put some moss on top just to cover up the dirt, and then a little bit of western juniper. Ooh, it's so pretty, and oh, I love curly willow. Too, curly yeah. willow, yeah, I really like that. Still deciding how I feel about this. But. About the willow, <laughs> Kate shared a trick with me about paper whites. Kate makes wonderful <laughs> cocktails, so she knows all the tricks when it comes to using the spirits to do different things. So, what is it about the paper whites that the yeah. vodka helps with? So, with paper whites, sometimes they get really, really tall, uh, tall and leggy, and they'll flop over. So, if you once they start to grow, if you mix your water with uh, vodka, so seven parts water, one part vodka and you use that to water your paper whites it'll stunt their growth just a little bit so they won't be so floppy they'll be a little bit more robust we'll definitely have to give that a shot thanks kate that's an awesome tip here's my friend maureen from parsons peonies and she made a beautiful arrangement she really has a knack for this what do you have in your container maureen um so i have the jumbo amaryllis in the front and then i just put some boxwoods clipped from my garden um, I have two little lemon cypress um, mini trees in here as well. Those are live. Some pine cones and some berries um, and also some moss. And then I just put like a little ornament um, with some ribbon around the, the um, container. Looks great. How long, how many times do you think you'll need to water it? Does amaryllis not, need a lot of water? You're, you've often. grown it more than I have. Yes, I do a lot of amaryllis. You really don't have to water it much. In fact, a lot of the fungus gnats, I think, come from people overwatering. So I do have the lemon cypress in separate containers, so I will give those a little bit more water. But the amaryllis, amaryllis itself, I won't do a lot of water with. Well, we just spent a really fun afternoon putting together our amaryllis arrangements. As you can see, you can do so many with these bulbs. Yeah. Maureen has this beautiful arrangement. Mine is this simple one here in the center. And Kate also has this one that looks really modern and clean as well. Um, we all got different varieties. So thank you so much to Longfield Gardens for sending these out to us um, to spend this afternoon creating these pretty arrangements. It gave us an opportunity to spend time with some gardening friends and to be creative. Mm -hmm. um, Kate, what variety did you get? This is giant double amadeus. 
Mine is Dancing Queen, which is a coral with a little bit of ivory. And how about you, Maureen? And I've got the Double Doublet, which is like a candy cane stripe bloom. So we are excited to see what these are going to look like when they bloom in about six to eight weeks. Thank you so much for spending your time with us and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. And we'll see you soon.